One of the limitations of using the built-in search box in Bubble is that it only allows you to search one field at a time. This video is picking up from a previous video where I showed how to make this pop-up search box like an omni search. Um, but the limitation, like I've just said, was that the default Bubble built-in search box will only let you search one field at a time. So let's just have a look at my data here. Uh, gone with an Avengers um, MCU theme um, and uh, my contacts have got three fields, first name, last name and alias. And I want to create a search box that is going to search through uh, each of those fields. So how will I go about doing that? Well, the way around it is to use a plugin like a fuzzy search. Um, so I'm going to install uh, fuzzy search by zero code. And um, then, because I want it to be part of this pop-up, I'm going to put my fuzzy search in here. Uh, and uh, so, this is one example where a plugin doesn't quite play so nicely with the new responsive engine. Um, but my workaround for that is going to be to just put it at the end. There we go. Um, right, let's fill in some fields. So data type, I wanted to search is contact. Uh, I wanted to search through all of my contacts. And then I can add in the fields. Now it will only take text fields here. Um, so you will have to find a, a further workaround. Uh, for example, to put an option set in there, I use backend database triggers so that when an option set value is changed, uh, I have another field in this data type called like, so um, for example, uh, in this data type contacts, um, I have an option set called country. And now in order for um, like a search for United States to show up the contacts here from the United States, I would create a new field called country text. And I would use a um, database trigger uh, in backend uh, workflows so that when the option set country was changed it would update the um, the country text field and that way I can involve it in my field to search here. What else do I need to set up here? Uh, so there are a number of parameters here you can kind of look up on github um, under the like technology that runs this plugin to understand what each of those do. Um, there's a little explanation in the uh, documentation the plugin developer includes. Um, but mainly, let's focus on here. I need to say uh, match text in input text box. This is a search, so I need to get rid of that and instead put um, a text box in here. Okay, and then um, I need to give it an ID attribute. Now, if you uh, don't see this box down here, this is where you find it in settings general expose option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. So when you've got that box ticked, ticked uh, you can uh, put in a label here, it just needs to be unique. And then uh, we put the, cert, the same label in here. Okay, um, right, let's test it. So I have command K set up as my keyboard shortcut. Have a look at the previous video if you're unsure how to do that. Uh, and let's start typing my Iron Man in here. Right, nothing comes up. And that's because unlike the default search box, um, default search element, uh, I actually have to create a way of displaying the results. Um, so let's add that in. We're gonna need a repeating group. In fact, I need to put these into a row. And that then means that I can add in my repeating group uh, below. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do this very quickly, number of rows, don't wanna restrict that. Okay, so the repeating group is going to show contacts and it's data source, it's not gonna be a do a search for, it will be a search and autocomplete 
A, that's this element here, uh, matches. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just put a link in the search box and just styling the B in a bit, the cell. Um, and we can then, like anything else in a repeating group, we can. Um, in fact, I won't use a link because then I can't combine. Oh, that could. What am I thinking? And then link to, I've got a profile page, because that's what I want my users to do. When they've uh, got a list of search results, I want them to be able to click on the page and to go through to, uh, click on a contact, and for them to be able to go through to the page I've created for that contact. Brilliant, let's just add some padding around it. Uh, and then, let's move right. Okay, uh, now let's try that. So, a keyboard shortcut. Okay, there we go. So, it is bringing up search results. Iron Man is being ranked top. Remember, this is uh, a plugin that both allows you to have multiple fields and it is fuzzy search. Uh, so for some reason, uh, it believes that Natasha Romanoff is also a valid um, uh, secondary. It's, it's being ranked below Tony Stark. Um, and you'd be able to, to kind of tweak the sensitivity by using the settings um, in here. But let's just go back and watch that happen again and we'll tidy a few things up. Um, so first of all, uh, when I hit my keyboard shortcut, uh, I want to set focus on my input. Uh, that offers a better user experience. Okay, and also uh, I want my repeating group to only show up when there are results and also when there is text um, in the search box. So I can refer back to the plugin and I can go for uh, let's just go for matches. I'll do matches count uh, is not zero. Okay, this time let's try Bruce Banner. There we go. We get one result. Uh, let's try a different field. Let's try the alias. We'll go for Scarlet Witch. There we go. Uh, we get the result up. So there you have it. That is how to um, expand upon what you can do with the default uh, search box uh, by using a fuzzy search. Using a regular input field with that fuzzy search allows you to search across multiple fields in your database.